the last time I showed you a temporary fix where I used super glue just to hold the screw in place. Well, as I did mention to you in that video, is that the super glue is not watertight. So here we go again. The thought is running water constantly, so we've got to get this stop. Water is very expensive in my area, unfortunately. And even if it was cheap, I just can't afford to waste water. So here we have it, guys. Just wasting water right there. I have a larger screw I'm going to actually put inside of it. Um, I didn't have one the last time when I did the super glue thing, but this screw is larger. I'm just going to insert the screw right here, and this should actually prevent the toilet from running water constantly because what's happening is that this piece right here is not coming all the way up to stop the water. See, it's just like that. This the shaft here is bent. It needs to be straightened out. It should come up freely, just like that, and move freely. And when it does, the water should stop running. So I'm gonna work on that right now. I'm just gonna uh, remove this screw, put a bigger screw in, and I'm also going to adjust this is a shaft here that connects to the float. So I'll take care of that right now and we'll come right back and see if I fix this problem. That's the largest screw in place right now. And this should actually stop shortly. So I need to just tighten it down a little bit more so that whenever um, the, the float comes up, that it will stop about right there. Okay, well I've made the adjustment of the screw right there. So we'll see if this thing stops the way it's supposed to. And the goal is, is to prevent the water from overflowing right there. So that's a good sign, it's not overflowing. But I may need to adjust this little piece of metal rod right here that um, connects to the float bowl. So I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. I bent this metal piece a little bit so it should stop the water from flowing. Okay guys, I'm gonna flush one more time. I've made the necessary adjustments to the screw right there, as well as the rod that holds the float board in place. So I'm gonna flush it and just see if the water stops the way it's supposed to. So let's just watch it together as the tank fills up. So as the water level rises, less water should flow. That's more like it, guys. No more wasting water. So if you saw the previous video, I did use some super glue to hold the screw in place for the time being. But now I went ahead and um, installed a larger screw here because what happened is that this screw got worn out and it was not um, holding down the way it should have been holding down. So what I would recommend also is that if you're going to do this, ensure that you get a stainless steel screw. And sometimes it's also necessary to do a minor adjustment to this metal rod right here. It's as quiet as a lamb. No more wasting of water. The toilet bowl issue has indeed been fixed. And this is just a trick for you guys out there. You can do it yourself. You can save about 90 bucks and you don't have to call a plumber. And then they're coming to you and I catch you next time. Bye for now.